Hi, I'm Jared Drake, and I'm going to uh, talk to you about lighting a film. The person that generally lights a film is not the cinematographer. The cinematographer is in charge of what the camera sees, and obviously a big part of that is how those things are lit. Now, the person that works for the cinematographer that actually sets those lights is called the gaffer. Um, that person does all the lighting. Now, your gaffer and the cinematographer and the director are going to come up with some type of lighting scheme uh, that captures and establish, establishes the tone of the movie. A basic lighting setup um, is called your three-point setup. And what that is is it's a key light, which is your main light source. It's a fill, uh, the light that fills in some of the shadows. I don't have a fill light here. Um, and it's a backlight or a rim light, uh, which lights kind of the outline, the back of your head or shoulders. Um, that's the basic lighting setup. Now, to light a film, uh, you need a number of things. First, you need lights. There's a number of lights out there. Uh, there's fluorescent lights, which are really popular now. Um, KinoFlow is a manufacturer of uh, fluorescent lights. They're the leading manufacturer. Uh, they're popular because they're, they're, they're cold, meaning they don't get too hot. A lot of times film sets are really hot and warm. A, uh, and they produce a really soft, nice, diffused light. Um, for nails and open face lights are lights that are uh, very hard, meaning they produce a, a straight stream of light. Now, you can shape a fernail much e easier than you can in fluorescent light. They come with barn doors that you can close and shape the light and focus it. And sometimes the lights have a spot on the back. You can focus the beam so it's wider or more narrow. Um, you can bounce that light off a white wall or a whiteboard or an umbrella of sorts uh, so that the light is more diffused, or you can even shoot it through diffusion. Um, HMIs are popular lights for outdoors. They're um, sunlight temperature. When you shoot outdoors, you're shooting in uh, 5,600 degree Kelvin temperature lights. Um, that's how hot the sun is, If uh, how hot the light source is from the sun. If you're shooting indoors, you're shooting between 2,900 Kelvin and 3,600 Kelvin. So the light is much um, hotter outside than it is inside temperature-wise. And what that leads to is a warmer look inside and a colder look outside. So outside light is generally bluer, inside light is more oranges. Now a few things you need to light a film. You need the lights, you need uh, your gloves because lights get hot. You need gaffing tape, um, this one's almost gone. Um, you need a, a light meter, this is an old Sekonic. It measures the foot candles which measures the intensity of light and tells you how to set your aperture or what to set your aperture at. Um, and you need a C47. They call these clothespin C47s because uh, a producer a long time ago was going to cut them from the budget of a film because they're like, clothespins, I'm not paying for clothespins. And they decided they needed something that sounded smarter and more technical, so they made up the name C47s and called this a C47 just to, just to fool the dumb film producer.